Hi everyone who's watching this video. Linda and I are sharing with you the model that we have in our book, Women on Silence. It's about a having and becoming aware that we have a relationship with ourselves. And this is the model that's in the book, only now it's in a plastic and we have it on the floor because that's how we've used it when we've been educating personally. And I'm sitting in the circle. This is the I statement, I as myself. And each one of these circles um, has a different label. This is an emotional feelings, the fact that we have emotions and uh, we have to learn to understand and name them. Physical feelings, that involves uh, physical hurts, but it also uh, comes, to, we need to come to understand that emotions also create physical pain. So we can learn to distinguish between a physical uh, pain and emotional physical pain. And this circle here is about our thoughts, our attitudes, and our beliefs. And then our boundaries, how we relate uh, with ourselves and others uh, around us. And here on this side are a lot of messages um, that women have told us that they've been told or have been said to them. And there are also messages here about healing messages. So I'll start with two messages. These are the messages that women have been told repeatedly repeatedly by their non-state torturers, that they are bad, they are stupid, they deserve what they're getting. And just imagine, these are like an arrow. And we use these to say, just imagine these are coming at you over and over and over again. So the impact is that you start believing what they're, what you've been told. You start having the emotion that's negative, that really you are bad for some reason, there's something wrong with you. Even though those are all lies because they're the torturer's tools to, to destroy you, you don't know that. So in healing, it's to challenge those messages and we have healing arrows too. This one says, I hear that you are, you feel. What do you feel? Part of healing is learning what you feel. And if you feel you're bad, it's to learn that that is not true. So as you learn truthful messages, you start developing a more true and positive feeling about yourself. So those messages come over and over again to heal the negative ones. This here is another one. It's about respectfulness. What does it mean to you? That's helping you define for yourself your relationship with, to, and for yourself. So we work at those and just think what that does over and over again. Your relationship with yourself starts shifting. And then we have this one that every woman we've talked to and helped support that they have human rights and to know they have human rights and the fact that they were tortured is a violation of their human rights and it's not just linda and i saying this it's the whole world that said that in the universal declaration of human rights article 5 it says no one should be subjected to torture so that is also new learning to think and believe about yourself